Now, the opposition coalition, Azimiola Umoja One Kenya, has rejected President William Ruto's proposed budget for the 2024-2025 financial year, claiming it has a budgeted corruption worth 1 trillion shillings. At the same time, Azimio has instructed its members of parliament to oppose the 2024 finance bill, saying that it will cripple the economy. NTV's political affairs reporter, Vincent Odor, tells us more. A day after National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njunguna Ndungu read the 2024-2025 budget highlights on the floor of the National Assembly, opposition leaders have come out to oppose it, claiming it has deliberately created a loophole for corruption. We estimate 1 trillion shillings as budgeted corruption for the next financial year. Money is budgeted for the office of retired president, retired deputy presidents, or vice presidents, and premiers, and nothing, nothing seems to be happening in those offices. Ask yourselves, where does this money go? Azimio has criticized the increased allocation of funds to what they have termed as non-priority areas at a time when the government is claiming to have insufficient funds. Office of the executive president, 1.2 billion shillings. Office of the Deputy President, 678 million shillings. Minister of Defense, 11 billion shillings. Addition. 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 All this addition. addition. This is a 23.6 billion increase in recurrent expenditure. The leaders have maintained that the revenue-raising measures, including the introduction of new taxes in the 2024 financial bill, are not only punitive, but will also stifle the economy. Azimio has instructed its legislators to avail themselves next week in Parliament without fail to reject the bill in totality. The regime does not fear Sifuna or any of us here. The regime fears the Mwanainchi, calling them directly to tell them that Chumachako Kimotoni. Na Mwanainchi muendele kweka iyo pressure. Ile tulikuwa tunasema mulika mwizi, sasa mulika mbunge yako kapisa. Yes. Tujue wale watawasaliti 2027 chumachao kimotoni. Wa Kenya, let us send these guys home. Let them be a one-term regime. President William Ruto has convened a joint parliamentary group meeting this coming Monday to whip the MPs to support the bill.